wishing you a safe new day in the cold of winter, and also a serious warning for a harsh winter weekend unfolding before us. If you've just opened the window, looked outside, and felt that the air this morning seems different, colder, heavier, quieter, then that feeling is absolutely correct. Because everywhere, frost is widespread and intense, and winter, once again, is proving that it has no intention of loosening its grip. And together with the first light of day, a new series of weather warnings has been issued, signaling that this cold spell is not only far from over, but is entering a more complex and dangerous phase. Just today, multiple new yellow warnings for snow and ice have been activated, covering the next three to four days. At the same time, amber warnings remain in force, underlining a clear message. We are not just dealing with cold, but with a sequence of serious winter events. Wow, frost, snow, and a weekend that will not be easy. First of all, let's be clear, the risk of snowfall remains very real, and it is far from minor or isolated. The focal point of this weather event is northern Scotland. This region has already received the heaviest snowfall in recent days, and unfortunately there is no sign of an end. Snow will continue to fall intermittently, but persistently through the weekend, posing serious threats to transport, daily life, and public safety. That is precisely why amber warnings have been issued, not to cause alarm, but to stress that weather conditions are moving into a more dangerous than normal threshold. Oh, northerly winds. The North Sea, snow pushing in from the east. It's not just Scotland. Across eastern areas, we are watching a particularly notable scenario. Snow pushing inland from the North Sea. Cold, low-level cloud carrying moisture from the sea meets dry continental air. And the result is snow forming and falling, even in areas not accustomed to significant snowfall fall. Meanwhile, Northern Ireland, parts of Wales, southwest England, will experience light scattered rain, which may seem insignificant, but carries a very high risk of freezing as temperatures hover close to zero degrees Celsius. Black ice, slippery roads, and dangerous pavements, this is the most silent and insidious threat. The winter paradox. Beautiful sunshine, but bitter cold. What is interesting, and somewhat ironic, is that many inland areas today will actually see rather pleasant looking weather. Dry conditions, sunshine, and clearer skies than expected. But do not let the sunshine deceive you. Temperatures, only 1 to 2 degrees Celsius across much of the north, a cold that cuts deep, especially in the early morning and late afternoon. Near coastal areas, temperatures are slightly higher, simply because the sea at this time of year is warmer than the land. But that is only relative comfort. Winter still holds the upper hand. Oh wow, tonight, clear skies, but intensifying cold. As night falls, rain and snow will continue along coastal areas, particularly in northern Scotland. One rare piece of good news, winds are easing. Rain and snow are no longer being driven forcefully inland as before. Across many areas of eastern England, southeast Scotland, conditions will turn drier, cloud will break, and skies will clear widely. But this very setup paves the way for an exceptionally cold night. Hard frost, deep sub-zero temperatures, Tonight we will see widespread severe frost, temperatures falling into single-digit negatives in many places, especially across snow-covered areas of Scotland. Temperatures could drop to minus 6, even minus 7 degrees Celsius. Stronger winds may prevent temperatures from falling even lower, but make no mistake, the cold felt on Sunday morning will be biting. Sunday. Sunshine returns, but winter does not leave. Sunday will bring more sunshine, especially across much of England, southern Scotland. At first glance, a day that appears easier to breathe, but across Northern Ireland, parts of Wales, Northwest Scotland, frequent showers will continue, with an uncomfortable mix of rain, hail, and snow. Snow will mainly affect higher ground, where accumulation becomes more evident, existing snow is unlikely to melt throughout the weekend. Prolonged low temperatures, lighter winds, but not warmer. Across eastern areas, conditions remain largely dry, temperatures still only 1 to 2 degrees Celsius. Winds will be lighter than Saturday, making it feel slightly less harsh. But remember, that does not mean it is getting warmer. This cold spell will continue to dominate the entire weekend. Looking ahead, snow is not finished.
the risk of snowfall extends into Monday. Northerly winds will continue to draw Arctic air southward. And then by Tuesday, a particularly important scenario emerges. Moist Atlantic air may collide directly with this cold air mass. That interaction opens the door to new snowfall, potentially even across southern areas where snow is normally rare at this time. Do not be complacent. Stay closely tuned to the forecast. Winter has not left. It is simply changing how it expresses itself. Quieter, colder, and more dangerous if we lose vigilance. Stay closely tuned to weather updates throughout this weekend. And if you want fast, accurate updates with in-depth analysis, don't forget to subscribe to Mr. Tyne's channel. We will be here, tracking every change in the sky, to bring you the most important information clearly and on time. And above all, convective snow showers continue to pour down from the north, relentless, unyielding, without pause. Oh, a prolonged cold spell, not just a few frosty nights. If we look at the latest UKV forecast, the picture that emerges is very clear and very worrying. The next four to five days will be extremely cold. From Saturday right through to Tuesday, many areas across the British Isles will struggle to rise above freezing. This is not a short-lived cold snap, but a prolonged, persistent cold phase, penetrating deep into the ground and into urban infrastructure. Only toward the end of this period, early or mid-next week, do we begin to see milder air from the Atlantic attempting to push in Mendrisus. But that word attempting needs to be emphasized, because the current cold air mass is very strong, very deep, and very extensive. Oh wow! Snow next week! Almost unavoidable. Most of the major forecast models at the moment are in agreement on one key point. Next week, there is a high probability of a widespread snowfall event. While the exact timing and precise locations cannot yet be locked down, the following models, UKV, ICON, GFS, GM, ECMWF, are all pointing to a shared scenario, large-scale frontal snowfall. And when frontal snow sets in, it means snow does not just fall in scattered bursts, but can blanket wide areas even places that rarely see significant snowfall. What is particularly noteworthy is this. Snow will no longer be confined to northern coastal areas, as in recent days. It has the potential to spread far inland, stretching from Scotland down into central regions and even parts of southern England. The snow shadow effect. Why some places see deep snow while others see less? In central and southern Scotland, especially across the highlands, we are witnessing a very classic phenomenon, the snow shadow effect. North-facing slopes, heavy, intense snowfall. As systems cross the mountains and descend southwards, intensity weakens noticeably. This means some major cities do see snow, but struggle to retain the full amount that falls. A similar situation is unfolding in eastern England, where snow bands from the North Sea are being steered offshore by the wind direction. But it would only take a very small change in wind direction this weekend. Oh, just a slight wind shift, and snow pushes inland. As we move into Sunday, the wind direction subtly shifts toward north-northeast. A very delicate change, but a critically important one. This is enough to drive North Sea snow bands well inland, and that is exactly why yellow warnings have been activated. At first, snowfall amounts may not be significant, but over the following 24 hours, accumulations will increase rapidly. Convection, convergence, dangerous snow streamers. Another major concern is the formation of linear convective bands. As winds blow across the Irish Sea, the North Sea, they generate convergence zones, very heavy, short-lived snow showers. This is a type of snow that does not last for hours, but falls intensely builds up rapidly, and is extremely hazardous for transport. Sunday, maximum temperatures only 0 to 1 degree Celsius. Afternoon temperatures quickly drop below freezing. Evening and night, 4 to 6 degrees Celsius, bitter cold all day. Monday, Tuesday, increasing cloud, rain mixed with snow, but temperatures remain below freezing. The ground is frozen. The cold air mass is dense. Milder air has little chance to penetrate. Next week, a battle between Arctic cold and Atlantic moisture, and this is the biggest scenario we need to monitor. Moist, milder Atlantic air will attempt to move in, but it encounters a wall of cold air and slides along the edge of the cold mass. This is the classic air mass sliding setup, 
and frontal snowfall is the most common outcome. Many models are indicating snow spreading from north to south, covering England, Wales, Scotland, many places seeing 5 to 10 centimeters, some locations even more. This is not a short cold spell. All current signals suggest this cold could last 10 days or even longer, not a pattern of 3 to 4 cold days, then a rapid warm-up, but rather persistent cold with snow, with ice, repeating in multiple phases, a scenario rarely seen in recent years. Conclusion. For 70 to 80 percent of people, the greatest risks in the coming days will be frost, ice, extremely low temperatures. But for a significant portion of the population, heavy snowfall will become a serious issue, especially from Tuesday to Thursday next week. This could very well be an extremely cold, prolonged, and memorable start to 2026. We will continue to closely monitor every development. And this is certainly not the last video about this weather event. Thank you for watching. If you found this useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to Mr. Tan. See you again in the next update.